God values relationship over religion any day, especially from those who love him. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ, with the mind of Christ and a firm determination to get to know God personally and more fully, we see God really values our obedience to him in his ways, in his, in his commandments. Throughout 1 Kings in the early chapters, God really hammered home this message to both David and his son Solomon. Things will go well with you and your people if they are obedient. 1 Kings 2, 3, Obey the Lord, walk in his ways, keep the statutes, commandments, principles, and testimonies, so you may do wisely and prosper in all that you do and whenever you, and wherever you turn. And then he told David in verse 4, If your sons walk before me in truth with all their heart, mind, soul, then you will always have a man in the throne of Israel. David spent 40 years in the throne as king. Verse 12, Solomon, his son, took over after David's death. 1 Kings 3.3, 3, it is said, Solomon loved the Lord, obeying his statutes and practices of his father David. Verse 9, Solomon asked God for an understanding mind and hearing heart to judge God's people in Israel to discern between good and bad. This got God's attention, for it says in verse 10, this pleased the Lord. And because our God rewards those who diligently seek him, Hebrews 11, 6, 1 Kings 3, 11, because Solomon, you didn't ask for long life, riches, or request that I, defe- I defeat your enemies. Verse 12, I have done what you ask. I have given you a wise, discerning mind. Verse 13, I also have given you what you have not asked for, riches and honor. And if you obey my ways, verse 14, I will lengthen your life as well. 1 Kings 4.31, Solomon became the wisest above all men. Verse 32, he ended, he ended up writing 3,000 proverbs and over 1,000 songs. Plus, 1 Kings 5.4, Solomon speaking, The Lord my God has given me rest from my enemies on every side. These overwhelming acts of kindness motivated Solomon to build the house of the Lord in verse 5. I purpose to build a house to the name of the Lord my God, just like the Lord told David he would do. 1 Kings 8, this was to be a place for God's presence to reside. Verse 11, the glory of the Lord appeared as a cloud and filled the temple. It was here Solomon pleaded with the Lord to hear the prayers of his people, having compassion on them, pity and mercy. After all, verse 51, these are your people who you rescued out of Egypt. Words of encouragement, our God has been faithful throughout the ages to desire a close relation or fellowship with those who love and obey his commandments. As we draw near to him, he draws near to us, James 4, 8. Ephesians 3, 20, after all, he is able, willing to do exceedingly abundantly all that we ask or think. This is who he is. Jesus is king. Have a great day.